Midst of South Africa's growing isolation in the field of international sport, Errol Tobias became the country's first black Springbok rugby player. Errol is the author now of a book called Pure Gold. You can get it at all bookstores. I spoke to him yesterday about uh, his sporting career from an early age and also uh, the difficult issues we're facing, we're facing with transformation today. In the midst of South Africa's growing isolation in the field of international sport more than 20 years ago now, Errol Tobias became the country's first black Springbok rugby player. In his newly released book, he tells the story of his sporting career from childhood to the major moments in the green and gold. In the book, Errol also touches on the controversy that followed him, a question that, to this day, still haunts many Springbok players of colour. Were you chosen on merit? Or are you just a, used as a pawn for political ends, transformation in today's uh, language? Now we are joined from Cape Town this morning by Errol Tobias, the man who wrote this book. It's called Pure Gold and very much like uh, in his heyday, Errol was pure gold. Very good morning to you, Errol. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Evan. Good day to you and all listeners on SABC2. Wonderful uh, feeling, exciting times waiting for us. Now, now, Errol, tell me, what, what do you see as the high points in the book that you've written? And, and I see you releasing it just before the World Cup. You're not causing any controversy, are you? Um, well, uh, you know that the truth needs to be, need to, needs to be uh, sp uh, spoken about. Um, in my biography, Pure Gold, I just want the world to share my humble experience and uh, realize and know that God meant it for good. I, I hope that whoever read my story would realize in how diverse and complex society of rugby followers I had to prove myself on the highest stage of Springbok rugby. I was taunted and mocked, but my rugby skills was outstanding and pulled me through from one stepping platform to the highest stage to eventually become the first Springbok of color in South Africa in 1980. Now in my biography, Pure Gold, my message addresses quota versus merit issues, as well as some structural ideas on how coaches should apply their minds in electing um, the rugby, rugby sides at top level. Now in Pure Gold, uh, we, I too address development of uh, players of color on, on, on a serious note, and I would um, give direction for our country in the way forward. In, uh, Pure Gold, I hope that all readers will have a lively debate in my trial and tribulations. I'm eagerly waiting on your response, South Africa. Now, South Africa is going to the World Cup now, and there's been a lot of talk around the transformation issue around Heineke Meyer not picking enough black players and picking them and keeping on the bench. What are your views of this team going to the World Cup, and what is your views on where we are with transformation, transforming the game in South Africa? Yes, Eben, uh, it's, it's um, such a pity that uh, not more players of color, which played so well in the Super 15 uh, competition, uh, didn't get a chance to play uh, in the earlier test to prove their mettle. Mm. So it's all about bringing them through, uh, through the right structures. And uh, from Super 15, um, when they, the young ones let them play in a, in, in a lighter test, such as play against Italy, um, Scotland, just to, so that they can get the feel of it mm. and that we sort of uh, blend them into the Springbok culture um, um, uh, on that on, on, on that note. Yeah, it, 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 it's about giving him a fair opportunity like Rudy Page is going to a World Cup without having played a game for the Springbok. But this is about you, Errol. Let's go back to the 80s. Tell us, you know, you made your debut at 34 years old, which is in today's rugby unheard of to even play at 34 years old. You made your debut for the box against England at 34 in, at a time when people were mocking you and laughing at you. Tell us about that experience and do you think you would have been much better if you were picked earlier? Um, Eben, yes, of course, I would have been so much better, but um, uh, just to correct a bit, I was elected um, uh, at the age of 30, and I played for four years in the Springbok culture um, till 84. Uh, but when I was elected at, um, at the age of, of, of 30, um, uh, we must bear in mind I played against the best. I've proved my mettle against Hugo Porta, 
you are the world's best flyer for that stage. And um, then I went from strength to strength. At, on that specific day, I literally ran a Yugo Porta to, to shreds. Um, so, and Doc Craven, uh, the mastermind uh, yeah. behind South Africa's rugby at that stage, he was furious uh, that I won, uh, wasn't elected for the fourth test against the Lions for South Africa. So um, I came into a, a time that there was lots of talks and um, distrust. And, um, you know, it was a, a di diverse sort of culture in our country. But uh, fact of the matter is I had to prove myself. And um, my rugby talent stood out. Um, people, uh, you know, at that stage, they had a quote, they said, um, when Dani Gerber or Tobias touched the ball, people literally rose out of their seats mm. uh, to capture every moment in, in the, uh, the, the manner in how they played. No, there's no doubt that you, that you lit up that, that time when you played rugby, Earl. But the message that you want to leave South Africa with your book, what do you want people to take out of this book? Um, you know, even uh, first and foremost, um, we should strive for peace irrespective of how um, anyone differ in opinion. To me, at this stage, it is essential for South Africa. Uh, our lifespan is short, therefore we, we need to strive for peace. But in the differences, um, whoever competes need uh, to be prepared and so that he can give his best for South Africa uh, on that stage. So um, it's endurance. Uh, trials and tribulations will be there, um, but you, you, you need to give your all for South Africa and the rest will fall in place. Well, Errol, I believe you, you would have been, you in today's world, you would have been one of the players, one of the world players of the year in this, time, in this day and age. That I can guarantee you, everyone in South Africa, that's how good you were. But quickly tell us, where can we buy the book? Uh, even um, Pure Gold is available at every bookshop uh, all over the country. And yes, uh, I can literally say to people, Russ, and get your books and um, relive my days, um, as they've called me then, uh, Black Magic, Pure Black, Gold. Black Magic, Pure Gold. Thank you very much, Errol Tobias. Caledon's biggest export, that's Caledon, a small town, but an hour outside of... Uh, outside of Cape Town. Errol was also the mayor of Caledon, mind you, at some point in time. Very interesting man and a fantastic story. The book is called Pure Gold. It's a story of Errol Tobias, the first ever black springbok.